All right now, chicken boy, this should be an easy win for you. Your teammates have already softened him up. More so than soft serve ice cream already is, I guess. All you need to do now is finish him, yes! What's up, guys? Welcome back to Burrito Bison Launch Libre. And before we get started with today's episode, I need to quickly address the fact that I have gotten a lot of comments from you guys on all of my videos this week pointing out that these three idiots aren't actually called luchadors. They're called launchadors. And you're right, okay, that's my bad. So I wanted to say to each and every one of you, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I don't care. With names like burrito, pineapple, and chicken, they're lucky I don't call them lunchadors at this point. But honestly, I don't mean to be overly critical of the comments. Like, it's just a joke. People leave a lot of really helpful comments as well. Like, a lot of people pointed out that I can use my underpants rockets in the cake wall. And if this is the first Launch Libre video you've ever seen, underpants rockets in the cake wall is not the weirdest thing you're gonna see or hear today. In fact, I'm hoping to see the weirdest thing of all. I want to reach the final boss. I don't know if that's a reasonable expectation or not, because I've never played the game before, but it's like I said, every single Burrito Bison game before this one has ended after three walls. We're geared up to break through the fourth today. So what's on the other side? Is it going to be another wall, or is it going to be the idiot that stole a recipe book? I would be happy with either, to be perfectly honest, because I just want to make progress. And it dawned on me, that the guy that stole our recipe book left with the bag that had Candyland in it. So, are we gonna be smart enough to finally destroy that stupid haunted candy? Or is he gonna escape into Candyland and we're gonna have to chase after him if we even reach this last wall? What are you doing, chicken boy? <laughs> You're getting grabbed by the cops every single time. <sighs> okay, gotta, gotta get a little bit of momentum here. There we go, you're not gonna make it. Oh, you're gonna waste the chili bomb. No, you idiots. We needed that to get through the wall. That was the entire point. He ruins everything. He is just the stooge of this game. I. Uh, you didn't even reach the final wall. What an anticlimactic first mission. Okay, you know what? We're, we're just gonna have to buy some upgrades. We should be able to make a big difference with $5.6 million. We can get elastic cables. With greater launch power comes greater responsibility. And more rocket slam. Increase the amount of time you can body slam. Maybe some bounciness. Everything you touch makes you bounce higher. And the speedometer costs $3.5 million. Oh, well, I'm not really in the market for spending millions right now when some of them cost a couple hundred thousand like police control. Lose less speed when getting trapped by cops. Sounds good. Um, maybe we can upgrade some of our bears as well. Like punch his pilot. Upgrade to punch even harder, thus reaching higher. Height isn't really all that important in this game. Honestly, I, I don't want to hit the walls high. I want to consistently hit them low because then I can eat all the cake out down there. Why, stuff like Gumdolf is a little bit better. He speeds you up, he gives you money. Upgrade to increase the amount of cash their chest contains for some extra speed boost. Those are both things that I like. Ooh, there's a sale on Dr. Wormageddon. Upgrade to make the treasures worth more and to gain more speed. Again, two things that I like. $1.8 million, sure, why not? Oh, uh, what else could we get? I don't really care about the bosses all that much. We don't have $50 million for Jawbreaker version three. I don't even know if that's gonna happen this episode. We'll go with uh, some more Jelly Rogers and some more Wanna Bears. Okay, I spent $5 million. If you can't get through the wall, then I don't know what I can do. Luckily for us, Burrito Bison is back up to bat and his big beefy boy body should be able to knock out the Beaster Bunny. How's that for a lot of bees? I really do feel like Bison has picked up his game ever since Spank joined the team. He's felt a little intimidated. You know, Spank has proven that she has what it takes to be the number one luchador, and he can't have that. So now he's got to try his best. He needs to get bigger, faster, stronger. <laughs> Move at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Honestly, it's a good thing these walls are made out of gingerbread and not cement. If he hit a cement wall going this fast, I feel like he would pop like a pudding cup. <laughs> a giant steroid-infused pudding cup. Oh, that was different. 
Wormageddon did give us quite a bit more speed. Oh, that was the last wall. Okay, so do you see what I mean? Like he is cruising towards the final wall. Chicken Boy pretty much stopped right here. Come on, there we go. Thank you very much. 211 kilometers per hour. He's going faster than he should be able to. Like, he's exceeding his own speed barrier. Come on, hit it, hit it low. Hit it nice and low. That's the big thing. We've eaten out all the cake there, so it's long. No, don't get down. Down. I don't want to waste my underpants. Rockets. Crap. Ah, oh, we're so close. There's no cake there. If we can get lucky and find a chili bomb in this pinata, then it might be able to push us over the edge. Thank you, last cards. Okay, get ready. You're about to crawl up a girl's butt. All right, Spank, this is it. You're the one. The guys couldn't get it done, but I have complete and total faith in your ability to kick a jizz wizard right in the nose and then succeed at getting through that wall. Please make it happen. I cannot go an entire episode without progress. And if there's another wall back there, so help me God, we are not gonna stop. I will do a dozen runs off camera if it means actually getting through. Holy crap, $28,000. That was one upgrade. Like it was getting us maybe $4,000 before, and then we invested a little bit, now 28,000. Okay, so definitely buy the upgrades. <laughs> Huge difference. Like even if I spent a ton of money at the beginning of the episode, we're definitely gonna need more. Like the fact that there are so many more upgrades makes me believe that there has to be more game. So I, I just, I don't know what could be on the other side of this wall. It doesn't really make any sense. My best guess is there has to be a scene change. Like, these runs are getting insanely long. They take like five minutes now. I can't ramble for that long. So I can only imagine that some kind of twist is gonna happen and we're gonna be brought somewhere else. Otherwise, I, I really don't see how this game could possibly continue. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, yes! And it's another wall. You have got to be kidding me right now. Okay, well, she got through, that's what matters most. And I think that means reaching the next wall should be quite a bit easier for the guys, so she's paving the way. New record of 7.6 miles? So it is miles per hour? How are they moving 250 miles per hour? No, wait, it's meters. Right, 7,500 meters is 7.5 kilometers. I already knew that. I've said that in past episodes. Like, I swear, the commentary does get to me. The rambling, it, it just, it, I don't know how to explain it. I, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's just such a strange thing. I, I have to not only react to the gameplay and try my best to do well, but I, I need to react to all the stuff that's whizzing by and making jokes and not stumbling over my words and trying to be somewhat coherent. It's just such a strange thing to do. And like, it's the reason I don't wear headphones. I, I wear AirPods because they stop my brain from leaking out my ears every time I play a game like this. <laughs> it's fine, okay? I still enjoy it. Even if I have to lobotomize myself to get through this wall, you better believe I'm gonna do it. But I'm really hoping that we get lucky and find a Dr. Wormageddon because I just went under the wall. Did you see that? I didn't have to eat any cake. I didn't have to break through. I dug underneath it. And that's gonna save me so much speed. And if I could do that with the last wall, then I could just bypass the whole system. <laughs> so it's a good thing that we upgraded him and we really need to hope that we can find them at the opportune time. I mean, $23,000 is nothing to shake a stick at. I'll definitely take that along the way, but I would much rather have a strategic Wormageddon when I need it. And you just get the Donkey Kong barrels. Right there, really send me flying. Good, good. Okay, you got through that wall with some speed left over. So we're on a new record, but you're gonna need a little bit of help to keep on going. Uh, hello? Little help, little, little. Oh no, I didn't have a, 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 a boosty, the underpants rockets to get that. No! <gasps> You've got to be kidding me. This had better be something amazing. Nope. I swear to God, if I need to save up $50 million to get this broken robotic idiot to face me again, I'm not gonna break his jaw this time. I'm, I'm just gonna kill him. 
<laughs> what is the ref gonna say? Oh, that's right, there is no ref. <laughs> this is street wrestling, Candyman. Also, I opened a whole bunch of pinatas and got every single upgrade. So hopefully that means Spank can finally finish the job with the low kick. Okay, didn't finish off the little Jizz Wizard, but I was actually talking about getting through the wall. <laughs> I've given both the guys multiple attempts at trying to beat her record and they haven't come anywhere close. So it's just gonna have to be her. That's, that's the way that it is. I think she could do it. She's got everything going for it. I, I need to upgrade the speedometer. That's the biggest thing. It's blatantly obvious that we have the ability to go much faster than we are. We're constantly topped out at 10 kilometers an hour above our limits. But if the speedometer went up to 250, we would be going 250 right now. And that would make a huge difference. So I'm gonna have to save up a, a couple million dollars, I guess. I don't know, everything is so friggin' expensive. Eat all these poor workers. I'm sure their minimum wage will be worth the $32,000 in gems that we stole from them. Oh, oh, no, no, I wanted to get up in the clouds. I've never actually pulled that off. I want to know what's up there. Ow. I, it's just my instinct to grab whatever's below me so that I don't hit the ground. If I have this many jumps, then there's never an excuse for me to slow down on the ground. Oh, no. What? Why do we have to use the chili bomb there? Oh, it fell apart at the end. We're not even gonna reach our record, or will we? You never know. It shouldn't count out just yet. You can get pretty lucky pretty quickly. Uh, like, like that, like this? Like that, what just happened? I think we just chained Dr. Wormageddon to the point where one hitter after the other? At the very least, we've made $160,000. That It'll go a long way. Oh my god, another one. Seriously? Give me this at the end of the wall. Right up next to the wall. I don't need it right now. Just, just hold off on them. I thought this run was over. We got through the wall at like 50 kilometers an hour, and now she's going close to 150, and it's a new record. Please just reach the wall. Even if you get in there and just eat a little cake, I'll feel at least a little bit better. I feel like we're making some kind of progress. You might also be able to get whatever this star thing is coming up. It's usually like a new, a new upgrade or a new like, opponent or something like that. Oh, we're out of jumps. No, no, so many police officers. Don't do it. Okay, we got the star. So this was a success regardless. Oh, oh, no, it's not gonna go under the wall. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We were so close. <laughs> Give me another one. Gotta be another one. Where are you, good doctor? Hello? Good doctor? Could really use some help. Nope. Splattered on the wall. We got Honey Potter. Every single name has to, has, it has to be something. All right now, chicken boy. This should be an easy win for you. Your teammates have already softened him up. More so than soft serve ice cream already is, I guess. All you need to do now is finish him, yes! Punch all those billfolds and gold bars and Aztec treasure out of him. $240,000, and that's before we even start. And it's gonna be multiplied by four. So that's already like a million bucks right off the bat. I, I feel like this could be a really good run. I don't wanna jinx it, What? I really just want him to prove himself, you know? I, I want good things for him. He he's a bit of a water boy right now, a bit of a third stringer. Oh. Uh, do. Did I have any control over that? I don't think I did. Oh, it's so close. I'm pretty sure that that kind of just went on its own. It's cool, though. Snowball? Gumball? I don't really know what you would want to call that. Either way, it worked out great. <laughs> Definitely did quite a bit of damage there. Oh my god, this is miserable. No, no, you, you can't be out of jumps yet. Build up those jumps. There you go. Just smush all those people. <laughs> and work your way up to not even the final door. Like, this is the thing. When they lose speed before even getting to the newest area, I feel pretty defeated. It's great to earn a ton of money, but if this is gonna be part of the video, I'm not gonna edit this out, then I definitely need him to get some distance. Money isn't enough, even though that, that shouldn't stop you from getting that diamond. Thank you very much. $27,000, didn't see you were on this. Sorry, 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 crush everything. Good, okay, full jumps. He's through the wall. He's got 
some speed. Some modicum of speed. That, that That's fine. <laughs> Just get it. Okay, good. And we get above the clouds, for the love of God. What is wrong? <gasps> I don't understand. I, it must just be the upgrades that give me height. I, I know I said that height isn't really all that important in this game, and I, I can appreciate that it kind of is. You're, you're not skidding on the ground when you have height and, and get up in the clouds, but I just don't want to hit the wall too high, because every time I do, I lose so much. <laughs> it's just difficult to do it consistently. Come on now, you can recover. If this is a recovery moment, you're getting speeds, little little tiny bits. Can we get you bigger wings? Is that something that's on the menu? I would love it if you could actually fly up more than a couple of inches. Okay, good. How are we doing? We're getting there, we're like halfway, a little above halfway. We're doing better than those guys are, I'll put it that way. And we got a pinata somewhere. All right, well, that should help your teammates. You see, he's like a water boy. He just brings helpful things to everybody. He's a real team player. Oh. The signs in the background and stuff in this that I, I really, I really want to see, but I can't, I can't focus on anything because everything goes by so quickly and I'm way too focused on finding the stuff that I need to hit. Like these things. Come on, give me, give me some, no, don't give me police. Why are there always so many police? Oh my god, you're not even gonna reach the wall again. Oh, this is miserable. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're under the wall. Yes! We're through! It actually worked. Oh, hey, bud. Are you serious? Okay, well, his name is the Cookinator. That's good. That's exactly what I said should happen, or what I was hoping to happen. We skipped all that cake. The whole wall went right underneath and came up in his kitchen fortress, I guess? He's got a giant frying pan. He's frying you right now, isn't he? I don't really understand how a gummy bear chef from a different world managed to get the resources and engineering capabilities to build a giant fortress and a robot with a frying pan in our world, but it doesn't matter. He has to be the final boss, right? He's the one that took our recipe book, and I wanted to reach him today, and I did, so you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Burrito Bison Lancha Libre, guys. Obviously, I'm gonna need to do some upgrading in between episodes. We need to be able to consistently reach him. We need to get some of that cake out of the way. I can't rely on luck to get underneath the wall every single time, but it may be the finale. Don't spoil anything, please. I don't want to know if it's the finale. I just want to reach it and experience it, and if you guys want to experience it too, then as always, be sure to leave a like this video, let me know, and I'll return to see exactly what this game has to offer next time. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.